Right, welcome back. Uh, I'm just starting in the uh, controls. So I don't usually do this sort of video. Um, I don't usually highlight planes from the dev server, but uh, the F-14 is, is a bit complicated. Um, and hopefully it comes with a manual when it comes out because it's uh, there's a few things I'll show you. Anyway, there's two buttons that I'm, that I'm pressing when I'm showing you. Uh, change radar RST mode. This switches between pulse Doppler and normal search. But on this plane, there's a few more modes. So yeah, that changes between pulse Doppler and uh, normal search. Uh, this one, radar beyond visual range. This changes to your ACM. Um, so the ACM is where you're in in close combat with another plane and it, it tries to lock onto a target in front of you automatically so ACM but that has m multiple uh, uh, multiple modes as well so let me get back into the plane and I'll be back in a minute all right I've just paused the game where I am let me just turn that I'll turn that volume off because that's annoying um, you should be able to turn that off if you don't want it on the radar warning but uh, yeah anyway so if you can see the radar, it says SRC, which is normal search mode, uh, and you can narrow it like usual, and you can increase the range if you want to. So we'll just leave it at 23. So if I go to the, the button that usually switches between pulse Doppler, you get uh, pulse Doppler vertical. Uh, I'm going to turn around. I don't think you can actually see on here. All right, once you're in the air, you can see a couple of blocks but yeah you can't never mind so the pulse doppler is scanning vertical i think um then we've got normal pulse doppler which is normal pulse doppler and then we got this uh i think that's soviet writing or russian writing but i think that's supposed to be t a t w s i think that mode is where you're scanning with the phoenix missiles um, and yeah, and it goes back to search again. So search, pulse Doppler vertical, pulse Doppler, and then track while scan. Right. So if we press the ACM button, we go to ACM. Um, if we press it again, if you look at the top left hand corner, it's such five degrees left and right by five degrees up and down. I think if you press it again, you get 40 degrees up and down. So that's the ACM. Um, we'll go back to search again. So if we press ACM once more. And then press the button that we use for pulse Doppler to switch between pulse Doppler. We get ACM with a BST pulse Doppler vertical. BST, I don't know what that is, but I'm, I'm for sure it's it's pulse Doppler vertical. Then we get uh, BST pulse Doppler, and then we get the TSW, which is the Phoenix tracking radar thing. I don't know if it's track wall scan. It could be track wall scan. Um, but I don't know why you would use that with a Phoenix missile because you're that you know you, you you're that close to the other plane. I don't know why you would use it. Um, and I think that's it. So ACM, BST pulse Doppler vertical, BST pulse Doppler, TWS, uh, ACM. So if you press ACM again, you'll get to the the vertical ACM, and then you go back to normal search. So, yeah, there's there's more modes, and um, yeah, I've no idea what BST is. So, if anyone wants to put it into chat, they can do. So, I'll go through that again. Um, we've got normal search where you can narrow it like normal, and you can increase the range like normal. Switch to pulse Doppler mode. You get a pulse Doppler vertical, which is up and down, um, and then we get a normal pulse Doppler. And then we get the TSW, which is the Phoenix. Go to ACM. Oh, wait. <laughs> my buttons are close. So I've got an analog stick that I use, and it, it sometimes goes to other ones. So we'll go to ACM, and then we can go to BST, ACM, pulse Doppler vertical, BST, pulse Doppler, and then BST, TSW. So it's... Uh, it's complicated and it's complicated to explain. So, uh, um, well, I'll, I'll just have a, I'll just have a little bash. Um, See, so it, it is the early models. So the the Phoenix 
I think the latest, the the later models of the with the Phoenix missiles, you could track six targets and shoot six targets at the same time, but not with this one, I don't think. Um, so I'll take off and I'll try the Phoenix, but um, I don't know. I don't know when the Phoenix takes over its own tracking. I d there's no, I couldn't see any visual, any visual uh, indicator on the hood saying that the, the missile is tracking its, you know, tracking by itself. All right, let's take off. Okay, so it's it's not picking anything, <laughs> but now it does. Seven miles. So we're ready. So it that can't be right, can it? Seven miles. Right, that missile should. No. Nope. Yeah. That can't be right. Seven miles. That can't be right. Why isn't it picking it up sooner? Okay, so I've started uh, a custom battle um, because I couldn't get them to, couldn't get them to work in test flight properly from a distance. I just, but in test flight, it wouldn't lock onto a plane unless it was like a mile away. It was really weird. So try this. Um, I did set the bots to a minimum of eight, but. It's not working. That's clearly not an 8.0. Okay. Right, we'll see how this works. Um, no, I, I'm pretty sure this uh, track while scan thing doesn't have IFF, but... You'll probably have to track it on the normal radar to make sure it's an enemy and then switch. I guess. I'm getting overtaken by a B-17. Okay, so that is a friendly. Um, that's definitely a friendly, but uh, yeah, it doesn't tell you that it's a friendly on this search mode. So if you go to normal search, you can tell that it's a friendly. Okay, let's go back. Um, no. When you get multiple targets, I think it's uh, select target to lock. Uh, I think it's this one. Or is it, or is it this one? Let me have a look. Yeah, it's this one. Select target to lock will cycle through the targets that it's it's looking at. So yeah, select select radar target to lock. You'll see that in a minute when yeah you can see them all there look they're all enemies so i can cycle well allegedly i can cycle through so let's, no no well, let's not target that one because i'm just diving down um there's so many i'm trying to target the ones that are in front of me here I don't know what this is. 18 miles. Um, it says it's ready. So we're going to fire. So that was 18 miles. So yeah, as I said, I have no idea um, when the missile starts to track itself. So we're just going to leave it. Um, and I, t I presume it's going for the one I've locked onto, but... I don't know, but yeah, in test flight it wouldn't lock on anything above, you know, a mile or so. Um, okay, so it stopped burning. Okay, well I didn't lock onto that, so I locked onto this. So let's try that one. So it does lock onto stuff pretty far away, but it, yeah. No, nope, it doesn't lock onto that. <laughs> okay, it's still locking on to the original. 
okay I think there's some bugs some work in progress bugs so it did yeah it's a bit weird oh well but anyway um, I'm sure they'll be ironed out yeah I don't know why it's always dark in the bloody hangar why is it always dark unbelievable right so yeah so um, I have got quite a long way to uh, to get to this I've got to research the A10 and I've got to research the, A4, the F4 as well and then then research the F14 but hopefully I can get a test drive of it um, it seems alright I mean obviously the dev server is always work in progress so things are going to change obviously uh, you might even get another plane you never know you never know um, anyway thanks for watching um, I'll I'll put some some clips of external view on the way out so uh, thanks for watching I'll see you later bye bye